welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 GM Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug, on the Go Home SmackDown before WrestleMania. That's right, we have one more SmackDown to book, then it is pay-per-view time, and then we're done with this video series. So, a full recovery for John Cena. Thank you, Mr. Cena. Draft reminder. So, they have a draft after WrestleMania. But no, I get my GM of the year, and I'm done, Vince. So, relax yourself. That's not happening. Uh, in any event, what does the morale look like? We have an unsatisfied edge. Everyone else is content. Also, what does the fatigue look like? Okay, we can book John Cena in some hardcore business today, because he is fully freaking recovered. So, love to see it between John Cena and Batista with minimal fatigue. But certainly, Eddie and Randy having a standard singles match on the show today. Contractually, two weeks don't matter because it's this SmackDown and Mania. So, I can spend zero on these contractual endeavors because I'm not playing past Mania. That's just it. We're done at the grandest stage of them all. Rivalries. Good, 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 good. And will this one be good until Mania? Maybe, maybe not. But regardless, we're doing it between now and then. Free agency? You know what? I'm going to hire myself for WrestleMania because that's just funny. So 50 grand in my pocket with my overall of 99 and 20 in popularity. So I'm doing just that well. I can afford to hire myself for that WrestleMania payday. I just don't see Raw being able to overcome that giant gap in the ratings. So, boo-hoo, Red Brand. That's right, it's time for Omaha, Nebraska, the final SmackDown. And here we go. Main event will be a solid steel cage match. And it will be, not me, it'll be Andre the Giant versus that dead man who will escape the cage, who will maintain their momentum going into WrestleMania. So that's your main event, non-title, obviously. Then we can have that Batista and John Cena parking lot brawl they are so fond of. So John Cena and uh, Batista in that parking lot. Again, non-title. Promo number two, gotta be Mania hype pay-per-view, obviously. Money not a concern at this point. Match number four. It must be a regular standard singles match between Eddie and Randy because of their high level of fatigue and such. So that's what it is sometimes, 96-94. Match number three. Let's do a main event. Let's do a submission match. Ultimate submission match. 15 minutes for The Big Show and Shawn Michaels. 91, 89, promo number one. What do I even do here? Uh, also, who's the... All oh, right, I can build hype for myself. New superstar promo for a tax look. That's funny. 50 grand, wow, that's steep. Okay, sure. Match number two, JBL and Edge in that backstage brawl in that bar room once again, because why not? When I look at the fact we can only book like half of the Mania matches, if somebody here gets injured, I'm not as concerned about it considering the rivalries and so on and so forth. But match number one, so we did a triple threat last time, and now it's, I guess, back to a TLC for Ray and Christian. So I'm not even sure they're gonna be on the card for uh, Mania. So here, we're gonna have a TLC. And just in case they're not able to have this match on Mania, it's gonna be for that cruiserweight title on this SmackDown. So a very costly final SmackDown at 208K. We have Christian and Ray, TLC, Edge, JBL, Barroom Brawl, myself, Getting a promo, Sean vs. Big Show, Ultimate Submission, Eddie and Randy, regular, pay-per-view hype for Mania, Cena Batista, backstage parking lot brawl, and Andre and Taker in that solid steel cage. Let's lock in our SmackDown. 
Christian and Ray, TLC, what do we get? Christian, the Cruiserweight Champion. Edge and JBL in a barroom brawl again, and JBL wins that barroom brawl. Michaels and Big Show, ultimate submission, the showstopper. Stop on the show. Eddie and Randy, regular, standard, singles match, and Eddie gets the win. He lies, he cheats, he steals. Cena and Batista. Let's watch some Cena and Batista in the parking lot. Batista got what he wanted yesterday, so I gave him that world title matchup. Obviously did not win it and is not the world champion. He is currently feuding with your U.S. champion, reigning, defending John Cena. So I would like to have Cena and Batista for that title at Mania in what kind of match. I don't know just yet, but I would like that very much. But I feel like because Fireman's carry into reversal, I feel like uh, what's going to happen here with only being given three matches for Mania, we're going to run some like six man hell in a cell business with like Andre and Taker and Eddie and Randy because you want to have maximum amount of stars there <clears throat> in those matches. So you have maximum top guys doing those top things. And the uh, twisting fisherman's suplex is just really good. So, I don't know. I'll see how things are when we get there. The roll-up in the backstage area. What do we got? A uh, two and three quarters for John Cena. He almost got there. He almost got there. I'm shook on that one. But can Batista? Nope. He cannot. The animal is outclassed, outmatched, and being out-wrestled by Mr. Hustle Loyalty and respect, but that sidewalk slam on the asphalt can't feel good. There's no give in the ground when you go to the ground as the mounted punches from the animal taken down the Doctor of Thugonomics. But we know that they love submissions and they're going to keep on doing these stupid, stupid submissions. Now, it, it's not hard, or it should be, so obviously getting out of that pretty easily as a big Dave drops the big elbow. But so far, no interactions with the interactables in this backstage area, even though I have camera cuts turned on. So if they are if there are any, I can get a good shot there for the thumbnail. If not, look, at this point, I have this video and Mania, and I'm just out of ideas. So if you don't give me a good thumbnail, guys, I'm not that worried about it. I'm more worried about finishing this fight and being the GM of the year. Into that sleeper, working on the neck of John Cena, trying to put him out right next to the ambulance, the amber lamps. And look. If he's knocked out, right into the ambulance, and then off to the local medical facility. It's not a hospital. Um, anyway. But never doubt the power and the grit and the heart of John Cena. Oh, Batista bomb! Batista! I didn't even notice. And it goes to do that. Because of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to miss that. At all. At all. Pinfall off the Batista bomb. One, two, and John Cena loses in this backstage parking lot brawl. Batista. Batista! And your main event, who escapes the cage? It is The Undertaker, The Phenom, The Dead Man. What did that do for our ratings against Monday Night Raw? Tournament announced. Fan change SmackDown. We got 50k. So, oh, Eddie got injured. All right, please be a minor injury. Minor injury. He can still work Mania. But it is a concussion, which is you should not work with a concussion. So we got a four and a half star SmackDown there. 3.6 versus 6.3. But what is this tournament? What is this tournament? So SmackDown versus Raw. The winning show will get a franchise tag. And get put on any superstar, making him or her ineligible for the draft. Tune in this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Nitro burning, funny cars. Yeah, so four and a half versus four and a half on the go-home show for Mania. 
But yes, an unfortunate injury there to Mr. Guerrero. And that brings us to Long Island, New York. Emails. We have expiring contracts. And WrestleMania tradition. The Royal Rumble winner should be in the main event with the title on the line. So do that. Thanks, Taz. I know. That's Andre and Taker. I get it. All right. Uh, minor injury for... Oh, it's a week. It's a week, Eddie. You'll be fine. Relax. Just don't aggravate it with any kind of a hardcore match, Bret Hart. Um, but yeah, contracts expiring, contracts expiring. And you know what? I got money, so I might as well just do that because I don't care. The rosters. What do we got here? We know Edge is unsatisfied, but so is Carlito, and that don't matter. Let me tell you, it's not cool. Uh, but fatigue-wise, it's Eddie and Randy at the top, and then it just goes down from there. And again, if I have Mania with Armageddon Hell in the Cell and guys get injured, I don't care. I'm here to win, and I'm going to win at WrestleMania. Because looking at my reports and the ratings, Raw did three, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five, last man standing, Triple H and The Rock. But... SmackDown did three, four, four, four and a half, five, and five. We did not have a one and a half star match on SmackDown. But fan support, just even. That is a 2.7 million in the ratings in the fan support lead as we head towards Long Island for WrestleMania 21. But yeah, just a sneak peek here at what it looks like at Wrestle Freaking Mania. We're booking this tournament, which means that all these rivalries kind of aren't going to matter heading into the grandest stage because there's that. But of course, I get to book this one here, and yeah. So, Rocket Triple H is the other side on Raw, and then we got three matches to book. So, I get three guys to put in here, and of course, Vince is there. So, I got to put somebody against Mankind, and Kurt Angle, and Brett the Hitman heart. But that will be on Sunday, so tune in for that business on Sunday, because obviously tomorrow is Perplexing Pixels, which should be Goat Simulator 3, because Pokemon's not here yet. Blame the mail, because much like Snitsky, it's not my fault. So there is your business. I'm saving the game, and I will see you back here for the final episode of GM Mode on Sunday. I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos on this channel every day, pretty much. I'll see you then, see you here, see you next time, and I'm out.